Get out of Sorry I got heated before. But please don't tell me you're sleeping in your car. Can you call us back? Mum and I are beside ourselves. Did you really have to go that far? I mean, with the pandemic and everything, could you not just stick it out? You know, marriages aren't a bed of roses. Look, I'm not, I'm not gonna shout, but just give us a call, hey? Just give us a bell. Let us know you're okay. Bayside Real Estate, Denise speaking. Hi, I'd like to make an inquiry on the rental you have online. When I sent through my application, I couldn't see a deadline. But I'm wondering if the owner has made a decision yet. Well, that's the address of the property. I'll see if it's already been tenanted. Seaside Mansion, 1 Posho Boulevard, Swanket. Okay, well that has definitely not been rented yet. It's been on the books for more than a year and I just got a call from the owner. Someone vandalised the brickwork fence and he's keen to get someone in there. I don't remember an application though. Can I please have your name? Jolene, Kathleen, Maxine, Lurleen, Pauline, Cantane. Ah, yes, here you are. Yeah, I'm sorry, we had to decline you. You don't make enough money, but you take care, Miss Canteen. Thank you. Hang on, what? Well, I'm sorry to say, your wage is not enough to cover the rent. It's 1200 bucks a week, you know. Your poor salary would not even make a dent. Well, yes, I thought it a lot, but I'm happy for him to pay me less. But I wouldn't go under 800 or so. Below that, it's not a yes. Pay who? Well, pay me. For what? <laughs> you want me to work for free? It's a lot of work, and this is not just a regular housekeeping gig. I'm looking at the pics online, and this job is big. There's more to this house than keeping all the lights on and the pests out. For instance, check out that pool. It's not going to clean itself out. And look, there's so many windows to clean, and that marble's not veneer. Not to mention all those cobwebs gathering on the chandelier. I would not just be keeping the pipes from freezing or keeping an eye on the dry rot. That house is huge. The vacuuming alone is going to take a lot. Um, no, no, no. I'll have to stop you there. I have to make it clearer. The owner in question for this chateau isn't seeking a housekeeper or a gardener or a pool cleaner or a guard of security. He wants someone to tenant his investment property. Oh, I get it. It's his property. He owns it. It's his thing. He wants someone to look after it, like a caretaker, live in. It's not like he's going to let me make it my own by putting a picture up, or have a dog, or paint the walls, and at any point he can chuck me out. No, he wants me to live in it like a ghost, like I'm not even there. While tending to his possession, he basically wants a house au pair. Oh, of course he wants the tenant to look after his asset, but he is expecting you to pay the rent as well. Do you understand that? No, I'm sorry, I don't understand. He wants me to look after his property, but in return he doesn't pay me. In fact, I give him my money? Well, yes. How's he going to pay off his mortgage? And not to be selfish, but how do you propose I will get my brokerage? So you're telling me he not only wants me to take care of his asset for free, but after all that he wants me to pay back a loan off for him, not for me? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I don't like how you phrased it, but that's essentially correct. I can't be sure of Mr Lord's situation. Perhaps he's paid off his debt. People don't always use a rent for mortgages. It's certainly not a requirement. Perhaps the rent money is used for other things. He could use it to fund his retirement. So Mr Lord wants someone to live full-time in his house and look after it and pay his bills. Oh boy, what a louse. I'll have you know that Mr Lord is not a scammer. He's worked for every penny he has and on that point I'll hammer. Except for the pennies. He wants out of me. Except, but hey, I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but you pay the guy to look after his place and leave it without a floor. I mean, you pay the guy and you look after his place. Whatever. It's the law. Well, the law means that he's double dipping. He's taking from me to add to his winnings. Why should I have to fund his retirement? What makes him think he has to my life that kind of entitlement? I'm sorry, I've never thought of it that way, but that's the way it is. 
I don't make the rules, but in the background, I can hear your kids. I get the feeling that you're in a little bit of a rough spot. I feel bad for you, but sorry, love. That's all I've got. Okay, then. He can pay me four fifty a week. He can pay you four fifty a week? Yeah, I reckon. I reckon that's more than fair. For that, I'll keep the vandals away from his lair. And when it comes time to sell, he'll be sitting pretty. And I'll be able to afford a place of my own in the city. Tell him I'll take four fifty a week, but not a penny less. And for that, he can do some work. He can trim the hedges. Mr Lord can't be expected to trim these hedges. Why not? Oh, I don't like what you alleges. Mr Lord doesn't do work. I mean, he doesn't do work like that. Of course he works very hard, but it's different. He gets very taxed. He pays a lot in taxes? Oh, God, no. He's quite brilliant that way. He has created many charities that he donates to every day. That also happen to enrich him and his power and his schemes. His taxable income is remarkably small given all of his income streams. No, I mean his work is very taxing. What work does he do that is so unrelaxing? Well, I'm not sure exactly, but you can tell by his business card. It's embossed with a linen finish, so he's clearly important. How can a guy be important when you don't even know what he does? Well, obviously he's so important that his work is invisible to us. That doesn't make any sense to me. He sounds just like a wanker. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you reminded me. I think he might be a banker. But what does he do that's so important that in my world he's my ruler? Because can't you tell? He's rich, you dolt. He makes a lot of more. Look, stop with these questions, love. There's no way Mr Lord will accept your pitch. At best he might bring the rent down, as admittedly he's in a pinch. The house has been on the market for several years or so. He wants a lot. It's a gorgeous place, but if you have that much dough, then you've probably already got your own house. It's a lot more than the average renter. But good luck to you, love. I hope you find somewhere to lay your hat this winter. dead rat in the pool and someone stole the security cameras again. So good news, he's accepted your offer, 450 a week. But you do the hedges, pay the property tax and give the decor a tweak. Ah, uh, but Miss Canteen, just one condition. Please don't tell anyone you're onto us. We don't want to incise sedition. So the house is fully furnished, you just come and grab the key. You can move in today, the house is yours. Home free.